Well, I'm very excited because the doors are, have been open in all these countries coming down from Mexico, right? Also, we have been working in El Salvador with uh, two locations, going to three locations. Also coming up uh, to Honduras, Annie is working also with a team of around five people in Tegucigalpa, which is the capital city, and nine people in Lago Yohoa, which is up north in Nicaragua. Lots of difficulty, but God is in control. We, we have been there and we will be able in his name to go back and fulfill the eight modules. Also in Costa Rica, we're about to fulfill the GTS because we have a group of nine leaders, very great leaders in Panama also. We have already done the intro workshop online and we're, we're expecting to go for module one and two in to Panama in uh, September. And also by the way, Katie, Tanya has and done module one in Haiti. And we also have more other invitations in Caribbean. In Cuba, actually, we have, have, we have an invitation to go to La Habana, which is the capital city of Cuba, and Santa Clara, up north Cuba. We have been invited also to Argentina in at least five churches in Argentina, also in Colombia, in Ecuador. And um, so uh, in Brazil even, we have had many team, team members <laughs> at the trainings. Many of them are Sunday school teachers, um, two other smaller children in the church. But one of them struck me, Eddie. He was eight years old when he started training. He had to drive from his hometown like two hours um, every month to the trainings. That Saturday, he woke up really early to come to the, to the training at eight o'clock, but he was there. He, Eddie, was a teacher for four-year-olds. Can you imagine an eight-year-old boy training or teaching four-year-olds at his church? And he was so mature. It was, it was just amazing how the Lord used Eddie. He was so mature, he understood it was just the Lord, the Holy Spirit just pouring into his heart and mind to understand everything about the training. And he was there for the eight modules com to complete the whole uh, eight modules. He was there. And still right now, he's working back at his church. So one of the things, the key factors that it's, uh, key, uh, it's a heart is very, very much needed is that people people want the training because they want to have this education, this background, to be able to teach children, right, to fall deep in love with Jesus. But they don't have the skills. They have not, sometimes they don't even have been able to go to high school, finish high school. Probably just gone to fifth, fifth, seventh grade or so. So uh, having this training, this opportunity of course, it creates this opportunity of, of learning, a learning opportunity for these teachers. Uh, so that creates this big opportunity for these people that have not had this educational background to be able to expand in um, the place that God has provided for them to be uh, teaching and impacting the children. I would ask, first of all, prayers for... Uh, continued open doors also definitely funds because if the doors are open right now we really need the funds as of right now because we never know if the doors are real will be continued open so it's like asap kind of thing right that we need those funds because the people are willing to go people here in el salvador are willing to go and and project and and um uh, train to other countries and also uh, in Honduras and um, well, Mexico also, as you see, they already started. So we know that we need the training here in Latin America. We want um, the next generation of leaders to really not just know about God, but know God. That um, the word of God is not lost throughout the generations. We really want 
our children in Latin America to fall deeply in love with Jesus.